A root cellar is an old-fashioned way to store your food under the ground. By creating an underground storage room, the earth keeps it cool to keep your food preserved and safe from predators. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and today we are digging a root cellar. Now you might not be familiar with a root cellar. It's kind of an old-fashioned way to preserve your food. In times before refrigeration, they would have rooms, a root cellar, built underneath the ground that uses the coolness of the earth to keep your food cold. And we're going to do the same thing here on our off-grid homestead. Now Clifton is back and he is digging the hole for us. And we will be working on the root cellar over the next several months. Just move that metal. Now that's quite a bit closer to the tree. That is. <laughs> uh, and that gives us an angle. But I think we're going to hit a root right there. We probably will. We probably will. That's 25 feet. That's 31 feet. That's my buffer. Okay. Um, if I went 20 feet, pop. Three foot front back. That puts me here. Here, I'm not even on the pin. Pull it. That puts me here. Probably just missed that one. I'll come out some. If I went there. That's 21. I'm sorry. A 20 foot box, three foot front and back. And that me to work around. That now, one. Do you want that in to kind of be like a walkout? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's so our length's really not going to matter. We're going to dig it out past it anyway. Correct. Correct. So should we just move that down to here and then adjust it? I was, I was trying to keep it behind the house if I could, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I, don't want, I didn't want the back to go beyond where we're sitting, of course. That'll be my entrance and it comes out right to the back of the house. Yeah, let me move it in. I think that'll help you as far as tree. Let's move it here. And then we'll pivot that one that way. I'll get that one. Let
deep you want it, Dad? Huh? How deep? How deep you want to go? We need to go deep. So we need six foot deep at our bottom. Back up. I need to be able to walk into it and definitely have some head clearance inside. And I could slope up my roof. I guess we start digging and we get down in there and find out where, where we sit. Because I know we're going down, but we're also going up when we start bringing the dirt. Well, I'm sorry, I wish I could help you. <laughs> I just got to have something to go by. I know. I, well, I don't, I don't know if six foot tells you much, but we want to be able I mean, to. If we want six at the back, six foot deep at the back wall, because it's going to be different. It's going to be lower in the front. Correct. Yeah, and that's because a lot of this dirt's going to end up on I that did, back six side. Seven back here, and then we'll leave that. Yeah, let's go deeper. Let's go seven. So seven back here. Yeah, there. let's at least do that. Okay. But where are you going to put the dirt? And I can before I move forward, though. Get know my height. We need to get the. Yes, sir. That way, as I move out, it's smooth. Yeah, it's yes, ready to go. Okay. So you are you going to do like the back line? And then I'll, come over here and do all that? Well, what I'll do is I'll come out so far mm -hmm. from here, out this way, and then I'll come around there and dig the back. Gotcha. Square and yourself up, give you a reference. I understand. Yeah. I figured as much. Getting our logo in the background. And my photo bombing. Can you send this out? I, I didn't know you had one, so I brought it up.
Alright, so this is the end of day one. It's actually the morning after, but I did not get out here before it got dark. And this is just the first day. Clifton's going to come back and um, finish. Now our root cellar will not be as big as this pole. Um, this gives us room to work. But it'll be pretty darn close. It's a whole lot bigger than I expected. When they measured it out, it didn't seem very big, but it does, looks big now. Now this will also serve as a storm shelter in case of emergency. Well, Clifton has finished with all of the, what was that machine called, Weston? A backhoe. Backhoe. Clifton has finished with all the backhoe work and the root cellar has been dug. Now we have a lot of work ahead of us. We're still going to have to put up the block structure and then and all of it will be mounded with dirt at the end. And I you know, I did the dirt and he did a massive hole and you can't get out of here. He, Before. He dug a massive hole? Yeah, and and he and you can't get out. You would slip right down in the hole. Well this is the entrance, isn't it? Yeah, watch me, DJ. Okay. Watch. I can climb up here. Now be careful near the edges, please. Do not do that. See? Because it can come down on you, okay? Okay. See? Um, because you can't get out of the flat spaces. You, you can't. You have to come out the pathway, right? Yeah. Now the root cellar is going to have multiple purposes. Not only will it be a place where we will store our food and the fodder that we grow for our animals, but it'll also be a storm shelter that'll be a safe place underground. So when Philip had this built, it has a large enough entrance here that we're going to be able to get the uh, bobcat back here to do the work. So that's going to really help as we have to move a lot of brick um, or cement block into this hole. And the backhoe is okay. all... Okay, remember? Now this space will be the root cellar and it's huge! Much larger than I expected. Now there's room in here to work the building itself will not be as big as this hole. I don't think so anyway. Um, 
And then once we build the structure with a good solid roof, it'll be covered with dirt to help insulate our food with the coolness of the earth. Just a minute, please. Now, just to give you a reference, I'm 5'9", and here I am in front of the tallest wall. Now, the root cellar is going to be a project over multiple trips to get this complete, and I'll be sure to bring you along as we continue to make progress. Friends, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We're almost to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you haven't hit that button yet, hit that button and help us meet our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.